Here's the finished uh, baluster project. Got them all in now except for those last two and it's really tight up there. So that brings us to the topic of today's video. I'm gonna get in there and drill the holes that I need to drill to install those balusters. So let me show you how I do it. You're watching Patrick Parson Workshop. All right, so the challenge I have is I've only got four inches of clearance between this tread and this part up here. Uh, so you can see there's no way I'm gonna be able to get a drill into there to drill a hole right here, although the bit fits, wouldn't fit when it's in the drill. So, and that's the same for this bit here, right? Just too tall, this bit won't even stand up in there. So, what I have is this. It's a right angle drill attachment from DeWalt that you can put in here and drill at an angle there. The problem is uh, I still can't get in there when I put this bit inside it. I can't get in there, right? It won't, won't stand up. And because it's got a hex, it takes a hex shank, a hex shank uh, drill bit, I can't, I can't even fit this one into it. So, what I'm gonna use is this step bit. So, it's got uh, steps every 16th of an inch, so no matter what diameter you wanna drill, the diameters that I'm looking for are 7 16 and 5 8 and I've got both of those marked on here in red. Uh, so I'm gonna drill 5 8 down here and then 7 16 up here to be able to accept one of these balusters. So that's the plan. It does chuck up in this right handle drill attachment. So let's give it a try and see if it works. I think you can see it there, right? So that's the plan. I got my spots marked for where I'm gonna drill. I can get in here, it's super tight still. I've got it down to the uh, 7 16 mark almost, but I got to go all the way to that 5 8 here on the bottom. I think that's got it, so I'm going to test fit a baluster in there and make sure we got it down to the right notch on the step bit. I need it just a hair deeper here. By the way, that's a little off cut of one of those balusters when I was cutting those before. There we go, that should be perfect. I didn't have it quite deep enough. Yep, sits down in there nicely. That's gonna work. I'll go ahead and drill the other one out here. Had a little bit of a mess up. That hole there on the left was a little bit too far this way, so I took an oak plug and put down in there. And when that dries, it's in epoxy right now. When that dries, I will straighten that up a little bit, but didn't want that to be out of alignment with the rest of these balusters going down the line here. So I'm gonna go ahead and fix that one up drill a new hole there with the right alignment back a little bit that way and then everything should be good to go and then I'll go ahead and drill my holes up there on the top I still don't have those in yet and then cut the baluster and epoxy those in place this last little part has turned out to be quite the challenge <laughs> 